Good day, beauty queens. Um, hopefully, I'm in focus. I believe so. Um, so, I'm shooting my birthday haul for you guys. This is going to be a pretty decent haul. It's not going to be like a huge, super huge haul. I mean, I'm not young. I'm in my 30s. Um, I'm in my mid-30s, and my birthday was Tuesday. And I did tell you guys I was going to do a haul um, in this fall fab October series. So, let's get started so before I start like just pulling out stuff um, I had a great birthday um, the week before my birthday I was able to see my beautiful three children um, so the fact that I was able to see them within this month was awesome the last time I saw them was in the summer so I was happy to see them um, me and their father we um, split uh, our visits. Um, I'm divorced. If you guys don't know, if you're a long time follower, you know this already. Um, I am divorced, so and I have three beautiful children from the from the wedding, from the marriage. So we split our time. I also live in another state, so it's not like I see them every single day, but we have a shared custody. So they spend the school year with him, um, and I see them like on holidays, and then you know. And you know how that goes. Well, if you're divorced, you know how that goes. Or if you know anything about divorce with children, you know how that goes. So, um, being a mom that had, like, most of my 20s um, was devoted to raising my children and building a family. Um, and this is, like, the second year um, that I'm just having, it's, it's changed. So, I'm still adjusting to the changes. But... I'm so happy that, you know, and this is going on a tangent, so you can fast forward this a little bit if you don't want to hear this. I understand. But, um, so this is like the second year I'm still getting used to, like, I was always home with my children, always doing everything with my children, everything. He was the one that was working. I was the one raising them for the most part. Not that he didn't raise them, but I was the one hands-on. So now it's kind of flipped. The script is kind of flipped or the size have kind of turned a little bit, and I'm still adjusting to that. Um, I think it's harder when you're a mother, specifically because we are the one who carry the kids, we're the one who give birth to them. So it's been a little hard, um, but I'm, I haven't, I've literally been going through this literally by myself. Like nobody's really been by my side except for my significant other. Nobody's really been here for me, and I've literally been going through this shit by myself. Obviously, God has been with me, so I, I guess I can't say by myself. Uh, but I, it, just him. But as far as like physical people, literally just my boyfriend. This has been like the hardest year, two years of my life. No joke, no joke at all. But I'm making it through it, and I'm adjusting. I'm getting, I'm getting used to. You know, dealing with the change in life and there's a reason for everything. But I was so happy, back on subject, to see my beautiful children. I will be seeing them again soon in the holidays. Um, so if I see them this Christmas, I might be doing Vlogmas. I didn't do Vlogmas last year, but I did it the year before that. But if I see them this Christmas, I will be doing Vlogmas. Um, not Christmas is not Christmas without my children. I Like, they just make Christmas. And I love Christmas. I've always loved Christmas. But they are the ones that make Christmas for me. So I will never do a Vlogmas without my kids. So this year, if they're here for the week or the two weeks or whatever the weeks are, um, I will be doing Vlogmas. But I was happy to see them the week before my birthday. And then I had a great birthday week. Um, I went out the weekend before you guys saw that in the uh, vlog. If you haven't seen my fall vlog... Go check out my fall vlog, vlog now. I'm actually going to link that below as well. Check out my fall vlog uh, that's in this series. And also check out my fall trends of 2019 videos. Check out those videos if you haven't. After you watch this one. And make sure you like all three of them, please. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I was happy to see them. And happy. Uh, I had a good weekend. The weekend before my birthday. My birthday was on a weekday so obviously that's like work day and stuff like that but I went out um that night my boyfriend took me out to this amazing Italian restaurant here in Atlanta called Pasta Bella it's 
pasta vela. I sh I'll say Olive Garden has nothing on pasta vela like pasta vela like Olive Garden is like a generic Italian food like it's like American Italian food is not authentic Italian food pasta vela is like authentic Italian food like everything is from scratch everything is authentic like Italians actually own and run the restaurant everything is so beautiful and you know it's just a gorgeous restaurant so we went and we ate there it's one of my favorite restaurants um and then I went and we went shopping uh not that day but I think like the next day um so I thanks to my boyfriend Thanks to my mom, these gifts were given to me by family and my boyfriend. So let's get started since I did that long intro. So I want to talk about these beauties. Um, I love these beauties. They're looking purple and on camera, but they're actually more like a hot pink, like a like a hot fuchsia like pink. But they're looking purple. I don't know why if it's my lighting, but either way. These are beautiful, so I have these, um, and they have lasted. Like, I actually did a shot separate from this haul because um, I didn't think that they were going to last and be as beautiful as they are, but I've had these for a few, a couple days, and they're still very beautiful. So, um, I got these beauties. I also, like I said, got some from my mom, um... And then I have what I'm going to be talking about now. Um, so I guess I will start off with the Sephora stuff. Um, so this is the Sephora bag. So I'm just going to grab the first thing. And this is really like, I kind of wanted to start out. I normally do random stuff, but I kind of wanted to start out talking about this. Because um, this fragrance, I've been wanting for a couple months. And it's all attributed to uh, a YouTuber. Her name is Rosita, at Rosita Applebaum. I'm sure a lot of y'all know who she is if you're not subscribed to her. I love her. Um, like, she just seems like a really cool person to, like, meet, to, like, even just, like, hang out with. Um, if you follow her, tag, tag her or let her know about this video that I'm shouting her out. But it's because of her, the reason why I'm trying this perfume. And I'm an avid follower of hers as well. But this is the Versace Dylan Dylan Blue. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Either way, she's the reason why. Um, there's a couple other perfumes that I'm going to try that she's going to be the reason why. Those as well. She recommended uh, trying a few perfumes and this is one of them. And I'm so glad I tried this perfume out. Um, so, there's a quick story. I originally wanted, well, it's still on my list, but I really, really been wanting Marc Jacobs Decadence because I could tell that I'm going to like it. Um, there's a couple recommendations on YouTube for that one. Um, probably a lot, but a couple that I've seen for people that I'm subscribed to. But, um, they didn't have it, Sephora didn't have it. Um, but I always have a list. I have a list of perfumes that I want to try. I love scents. I love fragrances. I love smelling good. But they had this one and they had Libra. And I wanted to... Libra, I smelt it. Um, it's nice, but it's not as nice as this. I gravitated toward this one more. I'm pretty sure if Marc Jacobs was there, I probably would have gotten that over this. But... Um, I think I still want Libra. The packaging was beautiful on Libra, but Libra is more of a musk, musk, masculine smell. Um, and I'm not really into musk smells. Like, if it's mixed with clean, like a fresh musk, then that's different. But just like musk, like a, it's like a musk warm, but very masculine uh, aggressive smell and I liked it but not enough to buy right away so I will probably get that later but the packaging was absolutely beautiful and obviously I'm a Libra so I'm probably just gonna if not anything else get it for that and that is gonna look very beautiful on my vanity because it is like gold packaging like you have to see the packaging you probably have seen it already um, but yeah so that's the side story 
behind all of this. But I got this one, um, so I'm going to open it up. I took the plastic off already. Uh, it's already beautiful. It's in this beautiful, like, chic navy blue and gold packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Like, the packaging is so pretty to me. Um, but it smells so good. Like, I still have a little on my hand when I sprayed it earlier. Um, and then you just, like, take this off out of the thing. It has, like, a little rest thing. So if you want, you could just sit this on your vanity like this, which is probably how I'm going to sit it on my vanity. I'm either going to sit it on my vanity like this or like this. I think I'm just going to keep it in the bottom of the case like this. But it's absolutely beautiful. Like, And so to describe this smell, this smell is a very, like, out-of-the-shower chic smell like it's very it's like sexy chic and fresh like that's the best way to describe it it's very I'm gonna see if it has the notes on the box I don't think it does um it doesn't it might have it on the bottom let's see no it just has the ingredients but to describe it like if you want to like smell very grown very like put together but still fresh and airy this is what this smells like and typically fresh and airy like shower like scents i go for in the spring but this i don't think i would wear this in the spring even though or summer even though this is fresh i really don't think like i feel like this is definitely a fall and winter scent even though it's fresh i've never smelled um any fresh scents that just remind me of fall and winter, I don't know. This, and it's probably the packaging too, like this is a very like deep, um, sexy, mysterious packaging. It doesn't really scream, so it might be that too, just getting the vibes, looking at it, and then smelling it all together. But typically just smelling it, like the fresh, fresh notes that you get, typically I would go for that during the spring, and because it's kind of airy and fresh. But it's still like chic and like put together. It just kind of reminds you of just like a really like a Prada model or a Chanel model. Like in like her trench coat and like her pearls or her diamonds and like her Gucci shades or something. That's what that reminds, that's what this scent reminds me of when I smell it. It smells really good. So if you guys haven't tried that, I recommend this scent. If you like fresh scents um, but still like not like super super like fresh fresh like soapy type fresh but more like chic expensive fresh scents i will say go for this so I, i'm gonna put this on my vanity i don't exactly know when where but we'll work that out next i got some sephora mask i love these babies i kind of feel like they're a little bit too expensive because it's like six dollars for them um yeah but I mean, I guess it's kind of, um, I guess it's kind of worth, I mean, it is worth it, but I don't get a chance to get them that much, so I've got six of them, so I've got the Perfecting and Brightening, um, Pearl Mask, I got the Purifying and Detoxing one, um, and then I made sure I got two Moisturizing and Brightening one because it's, it's going to be getting cold and windy, and you need to put moisture back in your skin, and again, Skincare is very important, especially if you're my age. Actually, when you start hitting like your late 20s, you should start doing the anti-aging stuff. Drinking more water, putting moisture back in your skin, uh, doing your face mask to just make sure uh, you put the moisture and things like that back in your skin. So I'm glad I got these because I love these. These are my babies. And then I, lastly, I have my Sephora gift. If you're a Sephora Beauty Insider, uh, you know that you get a free gift on your birthday. So they always have a skincare care item and a makeup item. And I chose the makeup item, of course. <laughs> I got the Kat Von D. Um, this is called the Longwear High Pigment um, Kit, I guess that's what it is. Locket Kit, yeah. So basically you get... A setting powder, uh, eyeliner, and a lipstick sample kit. So, this is what the lipstick sample kit looks like. And 
I love Kat Von D. I had a black lipstick from her. I don't know where it is. I think with me moving, it kind of got misplaced. But the two lipsticks that they have are Outlaw. So red is Outlaw. Um, Lolita is the middle one. And then um, Vampire is the Vampy Burgundy one. So I can't wait to try these. Obviously, it's only one. So I can one sample so I, I can't like redo it I can only do use one time they're only usable for one time so basically one time each one but I need to get some Kat Von D lipsticks anyway so I guess that's a good way for me to try them out um and then this is the setting powder I don't know if I will be using this I might give this away or something uh, but this is the translucent setting powder i have a lot of setting powders these days uh, my favorite right now is the lori mercier uh mercier i got um the mac um mineralized skin finish um and then i have another one um i have one from it's a miss um shop miss a one i can't remember right now but i don't know if i will be using this i'll probably be giving this away and then I've heard great things about her liner, so I can't wait to use this. Um, but that was good to get this uh, as a free gift from Sephora. So that's it for Sephora stuff. Now on to MAC. I went to MAC. Um, I was a little bit disappointed for MAC because they are getting used to my they're getting rid of my babe. They're getting rid of the MAC Polo and Wearing NW45. Y'all know that's my baby. They're getting rid of it. They didn't have... I went to the counter. I don't really like going to the counters. But when I went downstairs, um, well, babe was like, the counter, like go to Macy's. And I'm like, no, they have a store. But I didn't know that they had a counter too. So we ended up hitting the counter first. So we hit up the counter first. I should have just waited and went downstairs to where the store was anyway I don't know if it matters but the, the guy at the counter was like they're discontinuing the darker shades of NW45 like why would you do that especially when all of these brands are catching on and getting darker shades there used to be a time where it wasn't like darker shades now a lot of higher end brands have darker shades even drugstores having darker shades so I don't understand, Mac. Why are you getting rid of darker shades for the Pro Long Wear line? I hope it's just for the Pro Long Wear line. Anyway, they didn't have the pump. They had the two. So, you know, I'm going to be honest. I was a little, I was kind of upset about that. I didn't even open this to see what the tube looked like. Because <laughs> I was like, really? So he was like, we got the tube. You want the tube? tube? And I was like, kind of wanting to say no. But this is my baby. Like, I miss I miss this. But like see what the tube looks like. Like it's a 25 milliliter like fluid ounce. So I'm like I mean you don't run through this super fast. It's full coverage, it's medium to full coverage. But it's just like really a tube. It's easier to pull to push out more in the tube, more than you need in the tube than it is for a pump because like the pump literally only so much is coming out the first time and if you need more you got to pump out more but a tube you can easily just like squeeze that way too much out mac please why like why are you doing this to me either way i guess that's better than not having it at all because this is my baby um this is my baby so yeah so hopefully i mean i don't know it's like mixed feelings. Like, I was happy to obviously get it because this is my babe, but I squeeze it too, Mac. Like, uh, I just can't. Okay. And, uh, yeah, most the other two items are just regulars. Um, I didn't get anything from Mac that, you know, was new too much. They got a lot of new stuff, but I'd rather get the stuff that I need that I'm out of than to um, get some stuff that, like, I really don't need. Or get something that's new that I don't like. And I'm like, but even though you can return it. Um, but I just got the Viva Glam. Um, the Viva Glam 2, I think this is. Anyway, this is my babe. Y'all know this is my babe. Like, I don't have to swatch it, but I am. Like, this is babe. I had two of these. 
And now I only have one and it's like this much left and I've literally been holding on to it. Actually, I think I got it up here. Yes, I do. Of course, I have to drop. I've been holding on to it like, like it was my lifeline. Like that's how much I got left. And I literally been like, oh gosh, no, my baby. Y'all know I love Matt. So, yeah. So that I got this and then I got the Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Fix Plus spray because that stuff is literally crack. Like nothing sets your face, sets your makes up, makeup, brings out your shadows. You can put it on your shadow brush. Y'all know what it looks like. I'm gonna break it out anyway though. Nothing, nothing is comparable to this. I, I'm not, I mean, this is my opinion, of course, but nothing. This is like liquid crack nothing is comparable to this so yeah i got <laughs> i had to get this i had to get the stuff that i was out of that i really really needed i could have got some more stuff like the liquid lipstick so but i was like i don't it's late like mm. they already upset me with the foundation stuff <laughs> but yeah i think that's everything um that tent that's tangible that i could talk about um i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i hope i wasn't too wordy and too mouthy even though that's like hardly ever the case but i hope you enjoyed it make sure you share um make sure you like subscribe if you haven't subscribed follow me on my social links they're always in the description box below i thank you really so much for watching and supporting stay tuned for the rest of the fab fall october or fall fab october all of that i don't know the order i forget how i normally put the order but I, it don't really matter Stay tuned. There's more things coming uh, within this series. Thanks, you guys, for your love and support. I really appreciate you, those who support me and who watch and who are actual supporters. I appreciate it. If you have a birthday haul and you're a Libra, please uh, put your channel and link below. Please put it below. Uh, if you know someone that's a Libra that has a channel, put it below. Like I just want to check out all my Libras videos as much as i can before the month is over you know it's our month so my birthday is over but i'm still going to be celebrating it for the rest of the month and you'll see that if you follow me on social media but yes thanks again for the love and the support put your videos hauls makeup it don't matter what it is put it below if you're a libra thanks for the support even if you're not a libra you can put your stuff below but specifically libras because i mean it's our season and we only got like another week before it's over so Thanks y'all again. I'm talking too much. I'm going to go now. Bye. Hey y'all. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I forgot two things. And how could I forget? How could I forget? Because I get these every fall. Sometimes I get a lot of them. Sometimes I only get a couple. Today I only have a couple. Next week I'm probably going to be getting some or the end of this week. Because I think I saw that they have a sale on some. Um, anyway, they're candles. How could I forget the candles? <laughs> like... I so call up in makeup, that's what makeup does to me. So call up in makeup and fragrances, then I forgot about the candles. So I have candles. Um, I have two candles. They're the my must-haves. I have to get these candles um, every year. Uh, they are pumpkin pecan waffles. This is my babe. It smells like warm, dewy bread. Like, not dewy, like warm, crisp bread. Uh, it smells like pancakes syrup because that's what's in it like literally it says um well it used to have the notes on here it does maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice brown sugar and essential oils it smells like spices syrup pancakes bread it just smells very warm very it smells sweet but not like overpowering sweet but just like a delicious a delicious breakfast like and fall all in one like and i like the packaging on they have different packages this year they're starting to do they like have one candle and like four different packagings for one candle um so you can choose so i guess that's good because sometimes some of the packaging they have don't be that cute or it don't be that decor ready like if you like candles like i do you just kind of spread them through the house or put them different places and sometimes it just throws it off when you have like an ugly candle and you have to try to find a candle holder or take it off but I like this one because this one is pretty and it's gonna look beautiful on the vanity when I burn it so 
I uh, had to get that. Um, and then I have this one that I already burned. This is my baby. This is sweater weather. Like, this candle is the epitome of fall. Like, it's very fresh. It smells like, like leaves falling, like fresh, crisp air. Mint, eucalyptus, because eucalyptus is in it. Like a sexy, like it smells like laundry, a sexy man, air blowing, leaves falling, like all of that at the same time. And I took the package off of this because the packaging was not that cute. So I just took the packaging off of this and I started burning this one already. Um, but yeah, so I have to, I'm so sorry y'all. I ended the video, I forgot about talking about these. I'm so sorry. And I'm talking too much. So pretty much everything that I said at the other, at the end of the video, uh, in my last snippet, include that in this one. Don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. The social links, click on those. Subscribe, to, uh, follow me on those. I'm following everybody back that follows me this month. If you're a subscriber, please let me know that you're subscribers because I definitely want to follow you back if you're a subscriber of mine here. I'm going to go. Something's going on with my brain. I don't know what's going on. I think it was just the makeup that threw me off. But I love you guys yet again, and I am gone for real this time. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.